Hey guys, how's it going? This is Tim Shaves and today it's gonna be a different kind of video continuing on the lathering series. Uh, I think this is the third one. I'm gonna be featuring this soap, Ogallala Unscented Soap. They're famous for their Bay Rum soaps, but um, this was actually one of my first soaps that I tried. I got the regular Bay Rum and that, um, I think the clove in it burned my face. So I tried the un unscented version and this one actually works pretty well. So I'm gonna show you guys how to lather this up using a just a normal 24 millimeter synthetic brush. This is a one done by Rudy Bay. And I knot it myself um, with a Umo synthetic. I hope you guys are doing well. You guys are having a great start to the new year, 2021. And yeah, let's get it going. Now, one thing about this soap is that um, it's primarily a coconut oil soap. At least that's the primary ingredient. Comes in a little um, packaging like this. And it's quite a hard soap. So this is, uh, I would say almost triple milk, but uh, but I'm gonna be um, not scooping, but like almost like carving out a couple of some of the soap um, onto my bowl. As you can see, I already have some um, scooped out. I'm gonna be using a cheap cereal bowl that I got for 99 cents. This uh, doesn't have any ridges, but this still works well. Um, in my, uh, at the beginning, I thought because it was a smooth bowl that it wouldn't lather up as well, but um, I found out that I just sucked at lathering <laughs> and that you could kind of, you could lather with any kind of bowl, uh, smooth or uh, one with, ones with ridges. So I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna carve out some of the soap. How I do it is I have a little coin that I use and I just um, scrape some soap out. I, kind of, I can't really show you to you guys right here, but I'm just gonna be carving out some of the soap onto the bowl. And it has, or it comes out in like little stringy pieces a bit. And I think, um, it's not as easy as um, scooping out artisan crows and soaps like that, but fairly easy. That only took like, I don't know, 20 seconds. And as you can see, there's little soap carvings in the bowl. I'm gonna be just spreading this out. I usually put some water in it to kind of soften up and uh, into these, like, not as hard as this texture, but just go with that. All right, so here we go. Just gonna spread that out in the bowl. And some of these harder soaps are, it's gonna be more difficult to spread because of their hard texture, but just do the best you can. And then um, you can just let the brush Take care of it as you lather. All right, let's go with that. Try to spread it out thinly, and I'm just gonna put some water in it using my finger, just like scooping out some water. So here we go, a little bit, and that's how much I got. Can't really see the water in there, but I just got a, a thin layer of water to cover the soap. And I'm just gonna throw away the soap really quick so that the water doesn't get on it. Give me a second. All right, back into the packaging. All right, here we go. All right, and I'm just gonna wet the brush under water. I have a sink full of water right now, so I'm just gonna dunk it. Since it's a synthetic brush, you don't need to. Uh, soak it in water beforehand. You just dunk it right before. I'm gonna squeeze out the water. Flick it three times. Just a bit of a damp brush right there. I'm gonna go into the bowl. Here we go. And this soap, um, when if you, when you first lather it up, it gets very bubbly. <laughs> Look at that. It's almost like bath soap, but. What I realized was that you just gotta keep working in the bubbles 
almost like William soap or one of those tough lathering soaps and uh, add some more water. So, so far I'm getting tons of bubbles as you can see, but it's, uh, it's mixing in a bit better than how it started off. And you might think this is a bad performing soap. It's not going to lather up and it just, it's one of those soaps like Williams, but uh, I can tell you, I can get a great lather out of this um, once you just keep mixing in the lather with some water. Now, let's see, was that maybe a minute of lathering? It looks a little bit better, but still foamy. I'm going to add more water to this. Let's see how it goes. So, okay, that's one and one more. So, quite a bit of water. I'm going to keep mixing it in. And I think... Soaps with high percentage of coconut oil tends to be like this, a bit bubbly to start off and a bit more voluminous, not as dense as ones with high fat, but they will build up in with tons of lather. Uh, all right, so it's building quite a nice lather. And as for me, um, I like to start my lather from the bowl and kind of take it on the face after a while. I usually don't finish my lather in the bowl so um, because I add a bit more water on the face while I'm face lathering. So I think about this point is where I stop at the bowl. And as you can see, there is a good amount of lather there. It's already looking kind of peaky. Let me just take out what's on the bowl. All right, look at that, that's not too bad. But once I move this on the face, that's when I can, I can really um, judge better on what kind of lather I want. I could, I could stop here or I could add more water on the face. But for today, I'm just gonna lather it on the palm, see how that goes. This is the result. And I'm just gonna lather it on the palm, wet it a bit, see. I can get a more voluminous ladder out of this. Starting off a bit airy, as you can see, but I can tell you, once you mix in this ladder, add some more water in, it can turn very voluminous and not as dense as some other soaps, but still um, well enough to use as a ladder. And I've shaved with this a couple times already. It's a pretty decent soap. Um, I know coconut oil in high amounts can be drying on the face, but surprisingly, it didn't dry up my skin. It felt normal. So um, yeah, I think I'll enjoy this soap in my future shaves. All right, look at that already. It's uh, under the light, it's looking pretty good. Now, I can tell you this can take more water. This is simply from the bowl onto the palm and I got plenty of lather there as you can see I'm just going to add some more water and I think I'm going to mix it in a bit more and we'll finish at that I'm just going to dip the tips under water and continue lathering all right now for the channel <laughs> I've already got couple stuff in the New Year's. Um, I'm gonna be trying out some of the cheaper options for soaps. Um, I was browsing through Etsy a bit and I was uh, looking <laughs> at some glycerin soaps and I got I got kind of bit it and got a variety of glycerin soaps. I'm gonna try them out and see how they perform. Of course they're not gonna make a dense lather dense and low structure lather like the hyper buttered soaps but i just want to see if i can get a good shave out of them and um what you call it as long as they don't dry out my face i think i'll be a happy camper all right after adding some more water this is what i got that's a pretty creamy lather and transfer it onto the brush 
this is uh, kind of how I take my brush lather shots. I uh, just palm lather and then turn or put everything on the brush, kind of clean it up to make it look nice. And there we go. Make some peaks here and there, like an ice cream cone. And voila, that's a McDonald's vanilla cone for you. <laughs> so it's a bit airy, but you could see I got tons of volume here. Um, yeah, not bad at all. So you can get this kind of lather with the Ogallala unscented soap, I believe. For some reason, West Coast Shaving is the only one that carries the unscented version. Uh, everywhere else, like Maggers and some other retailers, carry the bay rums and different uh, flavors of soaps, but only West Coast Shaving carries the unscented. So if you want an unscented version, go check it out at West Coast Shaving. I'm not um, related to them, or what do you call it? I'm not advertising for them. I just, that was the only place I found it. So yeah. That was my lather with Ogallala unscented using a 24 millimeter synthetic. So thank you guys for watching. This is Tim Shaves and hope I will uh, bring more shaves and lathering videos to you guys in the near future. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> see ya.